Hey everybody, channel's called Driving Home. I'm Lamont and welcome to another one of my videos. So today's video was inspired by a comment that I received and thought it was such a great idea that I wanted to go ahead and make this video as soon as possible. So let me read this comment and I hope I'm saying your name correctly. But Desiree wrote, thanks so much for the update. Would you mind doing a video on how you made the crank mechanism for the toilet? No, I don't mind at all. I think it's a great idea. So we're going to jump right into it right now. All right. So this is the parts that are going to make up my third attempt at building a mixer. So starting with this blue metal part here, this is the mixer part. Um, it's, uh, I guess, like a paint mixer or maybe some kind of plaster paste mixer. I don't know. Whatever you would need to mix in a big five gallon bucket. Um, this thing is pretty heavy duty. Now, I do have another one that's very similar to this, um, but it's got a polymer or polypropylene uh, blade on it. And let me bring that in frame here. So this one here, get this out the way. Get this one here. So. This one is made of a, a poly material, and I like this one particularly because of this little bubble at the bottom. It could ride on the bottom of the bucket, but I'm a little concerned that the plastic may not be durable enough when, because of the density of the cocoa core. Um, I sometimes call it dirt, so if I, if I say that, just know I'm talking about the cocoa core. But it, it's real dense, and um, I'm not sure if this plastic will hold up. So, we'll get this back out of the way. I am opting to go with the all-metal version. It doesn't have the bubble on the bottom. So I have to elevate this off the bottom of the pail. Um, so when it spins, it's not just rubbing on the bottom of the pail. And that's what this collar is for. I'll show it all assembled here in just a, just a sec. Now these, these are the cross members that I came up with to support this um, mixer. Um, one's a little longer than the other one. This one's the longer one. And it's going to go at the top of the bucket, just below the lid. Um, maybe about an inch below the lid. And this one will go further down in the bucket, um, right about right about there or so on the mixer doesn't really matter but it just needs to be closer to the blades to give it some support at the bottom and I weld it I welded some nuts in at the end on either end and they're threaded so that once it's in the bucket I'll drill holes into the side of the bucket and screw these in on both sides so they'll be anchored securely to the bucket and the mixer will be um, spinning through these holes in the middle. So let me go ahead and assemble this and you guys will get a much better idea of what I'm talking about. Now the other thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing here is I'm assembling it in one of these red buckets that I just happen to have with me. Um, it's not going to be the final assembly. I'm, I'm going to put all this in a black bucket this time. Um, and I bought one but I just didn't bring it with me out here on the road. Okay, let's uh, let's get this thing put together. So I got this basically assembled, and it is looking really good. I'm spinning it from the top, 
you know, but you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. But um, yeah, it spins very well. I have the collars um, just snug down um, to keep it from rubbing against the bottom, but it's just hovering maybe a quarter of an inch above the bottom of the pail. And um, I think these cross members are going to be the bracing that I need. So even if the handle that I made is too short, I can make a longer handle. And I think this is going to be able to handle the torque that the longer handle will put on the on the whole system. This is the top of the shaft and I wanted to give you guys a look at how well the handle fits. This is one of the handles I I had made for the for the previous setup and um, it may not be long enough. I may need to make this part longer but it was just some spare parts that I had and I, I never did find a knob to go on this side but um, it fits just about perfectly on that shaft and it'll allow me to crank the mixer over and um, it's a 3 8 inch socket something I found at one of the local discount stores welded it to this and painted it so this is a look at the mock-up that I've done that I've completed for this project and I used this red bucket since it already had holes in it. And just in case the holes I drilled weren't quite right, I could move things around and drill new holes and get everything finalized before I moved it over to the black bucket. But all in all, it turned out great. I like the mixing action that I'm seeing in the cocoa core. It's actually going up and over it, through it. Look at that. That's neat. Now that's just 100% cocoa core. <laughs> Nobody get upset with me now. <laughs> that is 100% cocoa core. So I got my holes drilled in the black bucket and you can kind of see the upper hole is low enough so that it won't interfere with the lid when I put the lid on and the same is true on the opposite so side. So the lower hole is from the bottom of the bucket, the outside of the bucket, to about the center of the hole is six and three quarters inches roughly. And the upper hole from the bottom of the bucket to the center of the upper hole is roughly 12 and 3 quarters of an inch. And they're the same on the other side, opposite side.
I'd show you guys the inside of the bucket while I'm assembling it. So I got my little set screw in here. I need both hands to do this, but I'm going to pick up on the mixer part a little bit. I'm going to lift it up and then I'll tighten that set screw and that's what will keep the mixer from dragging on the bottom of the bucket. And then I'll come up to the top and I'll tighten the set screw on this collar and that'll give it a, a little extra support. Okay, I got the set screws tight. She's spinning very nicely. I even cut this down just a little bit. It was sticking another eight inches up way too tall and even now it's still too tall but I need to make sure it's not too short for the when I build the case for it I'm gonna either remodel the old case or build a new case for this one not really sure yet but we'll see I still have to do the final tightening on these side bolts Well, that's going to do it for this project and for this video. More projects to come. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.